Hi, my name is Brittany Fell Castro. I'm the founder of Beyond Basma. And this is a yoga practice to foster change within yourself and in the world. So for this practice, you'll need two yoga blocks if you have them. If not, just something that you can use uh, for some support. Uh, and then a blanket or two, but I two rolled up here, but one will be enough. Uh, or a towel. And then if you have a yoga strap or a scarf that you can tie, uh, we will need an actual strap uh, or if you can tie a scarf or something of that nature. And if you can, it's fine. If you don't have one, uh, you can, I'll give you an alternative. So go ahead and start on your back. And just lay down. Bring your feet as wide as the mat. Let your knees fall in. And close your eyes. And just settle your body down. Just kind of pick your body up and bring it back down. Take your hands and just rest them on what feels like your center. So this could be the belly, this could be the heart, this could be a little higher. Just kind of go to the place that feels like home. And just close your eyes and then let yourself just settle in. Feel the low back settling down as you start to breathe. Feel the mid back settling down. Feel the upper back settling down. Feel your head settling down. Feel your feet settling down. And as you feel your body descending into the earth, getting heavy in that way, let the breath create a lightness of freedom. Feeling your body rising towards the sky, the cosmos, the heavens. Feeling your connection to the earth below. And the sky above. Feel yourself in your body. But also moving more deeply beyond your body. Keep deepening your breath. Releasing the urge to fidget, to fix. Let yourself be. And take your feet together, knees wide. If you have blocks or blankets, bring them underneath your knees. Just for a little catch. And then release your hands behind your head, or if this is too much, you can just do cactus arm. And then again, just kind of lift your body up, is it back down? Make sure that your mid to low back is grounded. Settle back in a little bit differently this time you're noticing the feeling of openness and as you're here just consider your relationship to change and you welcome change is it scary for you do you resist it do you like things to stay as they are yourself others the world or do you crave change Center. We change every day. We are constantly evolving. In this practice, you will be changed by the end, even if subtly. asking yourself, how can I embrace the inevitable evolution of my own body, my own mind, and my own consciousness? How can I embrace the inevitable evolution 
of my own body, my own mind, my own consciousness. How can I embrace the inevitable evolution of my own body, my own mind, and my own consciousness? Use your hands from your head, pull your knees together. Come into the chest. Bring your hands on your knees and make big circles in one direction. And then the other. And then circle the knees in opposite directions. And then the other. And then pull the knees in with the head in those two. And then rock over off of the back onto the right side in the fetal position. Right hand is at the uh, head, it's a pillow, left hand on the floor. And again, just settle in. And take those moments to feel yourself dropping down. Feeling the support of the earth. Feeling the support of the breath in your body. Feeling the inevitability of change. And then using that left hand to press you up. Climbing up, sitting facing forward, crossing your legs, bringing your block or your plank under your seat so you have more lift. And then letting your hands gather at your heart, let your head bow in. As we move through this practice, <clears throat> may we embrace change in all its forms. Not just in ourselves, but in others. And we recognize that we are constantly evolving. May we surrender to the mystery. Because a lot of times that's why change can be scary. And change can be scary because of the unknown. The mystery that lies before it. And so may you have the courage to embrace the unknown. The unknown pieces of yourself and of others and of this ever-evolving universe and planet. And you call in your guides and your support systems as needed, and be open to receiving assistance in all ways, physically, mentally, energetically, cosmically. And you recognize that support to love is always pouring in. Sitting up tall and send your energy all the way up. And imagine that you're drawing light all the way down from the cosmos into the crown of your head. And it washes all the way down through your face, and down through your third eye, through your crown. Let's start with the crown. And opening up to that light. Down through the eyes, may you see the truth. Down through your ears, may you hear the truth. Light washing down through your face, through your mouth, may you speak the truth into your throat. Down into your shoulders, through the arms, may you feel the truth. Down into your chest and your heart, may you be open to love in all points. Down into your center, all the way down, may you be open to your own power. Down into your hips, may you be open to releasing Block your stuck emotion, may you be open to pleasure and to fluidity. Down all the way into the root, may you feel grounded, worthy of this life. Down into the light. And let that energy expand all the way down into the earth. Let that energy climb back up into your body, expanding it out beyond your body, out beyond your room that you're in, out beyond the city. Expand that light beyond the state, beyond the country, and beyond the planet. Feel yourself expand it, bright, bold, soft. As we move through the practice, may you honor the experience of your own power. Embracing change for yourself, recognizing you know, that as Gandhi said, that we need to be the change that we seek in this world and embody that change. Your hands are 
Now let your heart bring them there and bow in. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Three arms. Hands down on the thighs, up and mouth, inhale. Up and mouth, exhale. Open to mouth, inhale. Open to mouth, exhale. Close your mouth, inhale through the engaged glottis. Keep your mouth closed. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing your ujjayi breath in the block. If you're sitting on one of your blankets and your hands behind you, extend your legs out as wide, wider than the hip width. If you have a short width of the mat in front of you, as wide as the mat. And start to rock from right to left. Right now I'm going to mirror you, so you'll kind of do what I do. Right to left. I'm just feeling the hips here. Next time you go right, you'll stay there. Good. And then you'll bring your left arm up. And you'll just reach up and over for a side body stretch. I'm reaching that left arm out and reaching. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, bring the left hand down and just reach behind you. And just feel that twist in your belly. Take a big breath in. Twist a little bit deeper. And come back to center. And then from here, go ahead and just go take it right to the other side. And the right arm, left, right, right arm, left side. Reaching. Try not to lean into that left shoulder. Side body stretch. Take a big breath in. Bring this right hand down and walk towards the back. And just feel the twist. Bring yourself back to center. Take it the other way again. And this time, you're going to bring the legs over to the left. Tuck this right foot in. Can stay flat, right foot flexes, sit up nice and tall. Just walk forward. The left seat will probably lift up, that's okay. If you have a block, let your forearm rest on it. Just breathe into this right outer hip. Breathing deeply, right into the glute. Relax your jaw, let your forehead just pour down and bring some pressure into the frontal lobe to relax the mind. And then rise up. Bring the right hand behind you with the left arm up. And just getting that left side body and so I stretch. Keep reaching. Take a big breath in. And then sit back down. And go ahead and take your left leg so the right leg will come in more. Left leg crosses over. If your left seat doesn't grab, feel free to straighten out the right leg if you need to. Left hand comes behind the right arm, reaches to the sky, and then either wrap the elbow or hook it and twist to the left, exhale. The right hip pulls back. Take a breath, big breath in, inhale. And then the next exhale, twist. And big breath, inhale. Twist. Inhale. Twist. One more, inhale. Twist. Come back to center, and you're going to try to stack your knees as much as possible to roll away for this. So it might not come all the way, that's fine. Heels can stay close, or they can come out a little bit. Just stay up nice and tall. Then you can bring your hands behind you if you need to. Just take a couple breaths here. Let it out your mouth. Good, two. Okay, take a big breath in. And then on your exhale, just fold forward a little. It doesn't have to be a lot. Keep your spine long. Try not to curl in. Try to bring your palms onto the ground if you can. One more. And then 
rise back up, and your hands behind you. Bring your right foot onto the floor, your left ankle onto your right thigh. Bend the knee, push your seat back a little, sit up nice and tall, flexing your left foot, pressing your left knee away from you, widening the shoulders, and focus your gaze on one spot in front of you. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, stand the left foot down. Spin the fingers forward, roll your shoulders back. And then from here, lift your hips up. Keep lifting the shoulders wide, the head to the back, or gaze at the belly. Feet are straight, lift all ten toes. Keep the feet rooted. Take a big breath in. Ten out, eyes up. Inhale. Lower your hips back down and back. And just lift up your hands and flip them so the palms face up, just like this. Lift the chest, take an inhale. And squeeze the hands into a fist. Release, and then release your hands. Bring them behind you on fingertips, feet wide. And then from here, the legs go to the left. But then bring the legs over so that the left leg is parallel to your mat. Flex the foot, flex the right foot out to the side. Sit up nice and tall. And then from here, walk forward, come into your forearms. Bring a block under your head if you have one. And just breathe. Breathing into that left hip. If you feel yourself really heavy to the left hip, just turn your body a little bit away from that leg so you're not completely collapsing. Flexing through the left and the right foot, really activating here. And breathe. Send your breath down. Relax your shoulders and jaw. And then rise up. In the left hand behind, pinch the right arm up. Top of the foot will probably press on the floor, both of them. Keep lifting, scooping your tailbone, getting right into this right psoas side body. Inhale. And then the next out, sit back down. Tuck the left foot in, right leg comes over. You can always straighten your left foot. And then right arm behind, left arm lifts on the inhale. Hook the elbow or wrap it. Exhale, twist. Keep pushing your left hip back so let the twist come from the belly. Breathing in. Twist deeper. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, come back to center. You need to see if you can scooch the knee over. And I didn't say this on the other side, but if this doesn't work for you, you can always straighten out the left leg if you need the support. From here, try to stack the feet or equal distance so they're either in or out, but they're even. You just hug the legs into the palm. And then just sit here, hands behind or in front, whatever works. And just sit and flex through the feet and breathe. And you just feel. And then fold forward for three breaths. And that length, flexing your feet. And if you prefer to stay up, that's fine. And then rise back up. From here, go ahead and hook the right ankle onto the left thigh. Feel your face back. Scoot your seat back a little. Sit up nice and tall, pressing the knee away. Left foot roots. Open the shoulders. Find your gaze and just focus. You can see for getting or feel for getting quiet within yourself. The steadiness of the gaze can sometimes help with that. So just try to let the gaze settle on something focused there. Focus on your breath. And then bring the right foot down. Fingers can face back or forward. Roll your shoulders back and again lift up through your hips for tabletop. Keep lifting the shoulders, scooping the tailbone, lift all ten toes, lion's breath, inhale. Tongue out, eyes up. One more. Lower down. Scoot your hips back. Sit up nice and tall. Make sure your sit bones are back. Bring the legs together. Lift up. Come to Navasana. 
So the knees can be bent, you can hold your thighs, legs can be straight in, or hands can come out. Whatever feels good for you, hug everything into the center, to the midline, and just focus for three. Keep pulling your belly in, two. And then take a big breath in. And then on exhale, bring it down. Good, bring the hands behind you. Open your legs, close the legs. Open the legs, close the legs. One more, open and close. Good, from here. From yourself to your hands and knees. Long ways on your mat. Have your blocks up front if you're using them. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Walk your feet back a little bit. Knees back. Really spread the fingers. Root them down. Let that mat lift apart. And then inhale. Lift your tailbone. Drop your belly. Open up through the chest. Exhale. Scoop the tailbone. Pull the belly and Head comes last. Round it up. Inhale. Open up. Spread. Press the feet, press the fingers down, exhale around. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round when you round. See if you can lift your knees for a second. Bring your knees back down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Pull in through your belly, lift your knees. Inhale, open up. If that's too much on your back, then just round. Exhale, round, lift your knees. Or if it's too much on your ankles, inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lift your knees. Inhale, come back to center. Soften the space between the shoulder blades. Pull the navel and belly in, tuck your toes. Step your feet back um, to plank pose. Keep pulling in through your belly. Reach your navel towards your face, with your heart. Good. Try to keep the hips level with the shoulders, the ears level with the shoulders. Take a big breath in. Exhale, push back down dog. <laughs> Try not to walk your feet forward. Keep your stance long. You start to bend through the knees. Bending one knee at a time, pushing the heels towards the ground, opening up through the shin, through the calves, through the Achilles. Widening the shoulders. So as you push your thumbs down, let the shoulders widen beyond your ears, wider than your ears. Keep breathing. Just relax your head. Stay with your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, inhale. Bring your knees down to the ground. Walk your hands, untuck your toes. Walk your hands forward onto fingertips. So keep the hands tensed like this. Melt your chest down. Maybe don't let the head uh, touch the ground. Widen the shoulders, pull your belly in and just breathe. So I'm actually gonna take this off because I feel like it'll be easier to see what to do. Okay, so pulling your belly in, melting your chest, keep breathing. And take another big breath in, on hot toss in the prep. And then let your forehead come down. Make sure your hips stay over your uh, knees and pulling in through the belly. Hands can stay tensed or go flat. I'm breathing here. Staying here or bringing your chin to the ground, maybe even your chest. Take another big breath in. And then exhale, slide forward, come to Sphinx Pose. Really stretch out the feet, tops of the feet, press chest lifts. Good pressing down, feeling yourself as connecting deeply with the earth here through your feet, uh, the tops of the thighs, through the pelvis, and through the forearms and palms. Take a breath in. Open your mouth for a lion's breath. Eyes roll up, take another inhale. Good, now tuck your toes under, draw the tailbone in, the pubic bone in and up, and then lift up for forearm plank. You can always bring your knees down if you need to, otherwise stay lifted. Time to lift your butt up or let it drop down, right front center. Take a breath in, take a breath out, breath in, breath out. One more inhale, lower back down to sphinx, untuck the toes, lift the chest, take a big breath in, tongue out, eyes up. And over down. And release the hands behind the back, the fingers interlaced. Keep the heel of the hands close, if not touching. Slight bend in your elbow. Lift the shoulder heads. Keep the tops of the feet pressing, lift the kneecaps. And then lift through the chest. So you're feeling the core engaging here. Thighs lifting, feet down. Take a big breath in. And out. And take one more big inhale. And then lower back down. Bring your hands align with your breastbone. And then from here, go ahead and just like. 
bend the knee, release. Bend the knee, release. Again, bend the knee, release. Bend the knee, release. Bend both knees. Okay. And then open up the legs and just make a couple of circles in this direction. And then the other. Good. And then from here, look up and back into child's pose. Knees open wide, big toes touch. Sit your seat back and just reach your arms forward, widen your shoulders and stretching into your low back. Maybe wiggle the hips a little. Big breaths. One more. And then from here, go ahead and come forward onto hands and knees. Walk your hands forward in front of you a little bit more. Tuck your toes in front of that downward facing dog again. Take a big breath in. Sigh it out. Good. And then from here, walk your feet all the way up. Just try to keep your legs straight. Walk all the way to the top of your mat. Good. And grab your block or your flanker or whatever you've got. Stick it in between your thighs. Squeeze the block with the thighs. Bring your hands in front. Bend the knees slightly and push the block back. Right? So the pelvis widens as the thighs roll back. All ten toes left. Keep pulling in through your belly and folding a little deeper. Relax your neck. Right? And just breathing here. Right? Keep breathing. Keep engaging through your kneecaps. Lifting all ten toes, but keep the feet rooted. Pulling in through your belly. Relax your neck. Three more breaths here. From here, bend the knees, you release the toes, let the seat go low, let the arms go high, pull the ribs in for Utkatasana chair pose. Just feel your fierceness here, try not to fidget too much, right? just breathe into the sensation that's building. Let your knees be beyond the toes, behind the toes. Good. Take one more. And then dive forward. See if you remember what thumb and pinky were on top and see if you can go the opposite one on top. So like if you're here, you're here. And then lift up, keep the slight bend in the elbow, trying to lock. Draw the shoulder blades together and fold. Take out your head gently and buzz out your lips. <clears throat> right, just to create a little bit of extra release. Maybe the knees stay bent. <clears throat> But one more. And then back to Utkatasana again. Inhale. Lion's breath. Stand up very slowly. Squeezing that butt, pushing it back, tailbone and belly in. Let the pointer fingers steeple as the shoulders widen. And stretch up and over to the right. Breathing in. Go ahead and release that right hand down as you take it as deep as you can. Now use your belly and your obliques to reach back all the way up. And then keep the hands steeple as you go left. Feet are straight. Squeeze the block. Stay here. Inhale. And left hand drops down as you take it as deep as you can. Use the hand. Use the obliques to rise. Back up. And go. And then again, take it over to the right. Inhale here. Exhale. Right hand lowers. Inhale. Rise. Back up. Exhale. Steeple the fingers. Go left. Inhale here. Exhale. Hand comes down. Inhale, use your obliques, rise up. Exhale, interlace the fingers, lean back. Keep the arms aligned with the head, the head aligned with the arms. Pull the belly in, move from the upper back. Take an inhale. Cactus out the arms, keep the neck long. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Prayer the hands. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway, find length, touching shins or floor. Exhale, fold forward. Release your block, maybe your hands hold blocks, right foot forward, left foot back, and come to lunge. You want your right knee directly over your ankle, right? Back leg straight back. Make sure the feet are hip width as opposed to being like on a tight rope, right? Squeeze in through the thigh and just lift the chest. Yawn that left thigh open as you find a really steady gaze as you breathe in. And out. And in. One more full inhale. And then exhale, bring the back knee down. If you need your blanket for the knee, go ahead and use that if you need it. Your right hand, or your left hand might want to block or not. It's up to you. And then squeeze in through your thighs and twist the right arm up to the sky. Good. And then reach back towards your foot and see if you can grab the, the outer edge of it. Keep squeezing it. 
So it's a little early, so it might, you might not be ready, right, to grab it completely. You might just reach towards it. Maybe you're pulling your heel in, kicking the foot into the hand, rolling open through your chest, and just breathe. Spreading through the toes, squeezing through the hips. Take one more inhale. And then carefully bring the foot down, bring the hand down, and then lift your back leg up and pivot to a wide leg forward fold. So you're pivoting to the left. Inhale, lift halfway up, lift all the ten toes and squeeze in through the feet. Exhale, walk your hands back, fold forward and let your neck go. Bring the hands under your pelvis, bend your elbows, press from the hips to the outer edges of the feet, lean forward, breathe in. See if you can lengthen out of the spine a little bit and go deeper. Release your neck. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then rise halfway up, inhale to fingertips. Exhale, go ahead and pivot back into a lunge, and then right away, reach your arms up to the sky, back you can always lower down. Prayer the hands, bend the elbows so the thumbs come right to the ground, the nape of the neck, push the head into the thumbs, curl yourself open as you pull your ribs and belly in, knee over ankle, breathing in. Breathing out. Try to lengthen your tailbone. Take a big breath in. Good. And then exhale. Go ahead and reach the arms back behind you. Lift the back leg for warrior three. Left outer hip drops down. Foot flexes. Breathe in. Use your belly. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Bring your hands down. Fold into a standing split. You flex if you need to. Lift the right toes up. To accentuate your right arch, make sure the outer left hip is down, left back thigh is spinning up. Take one more inhale. And then set the left foot down next to the right foot hip up. Inhale, halfway open your chest. Exhale, fold. Relax your neck. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Notice the imbalance in the body, right? There is some there. And just stay here for three breaths. Just staying connected and contained within yourself. Right, within that deep mystery. And then release your hands down and sweep your arms to the sky. Inhale. Dive forward, exhale. Inhale, half bite. Step your right foot back, left foot is forward. <coughs> Bending into the left knee, squeezing in, opening through the chest. So I'm not mirroring now because we're doing it on the side. So if you notice, now um, it's my left foot, your left foot. Keep squeezing in, keep opening through the chest, really pulling up, but extending out. Take a big breath in. And release your back knee down again. Pat up if you need to. Make sure the knee's far enough back so that you're lunging forward. Right hand can hold a block or not. Left foot can open a little bit. And then twist your left arm up to the sky. Stay here. You can reach back like this or you can pick up your foot. Push your heel towards your seat. Kick your shoulder back. Spread your toes. Pull your belly in and breathe. Keep squeezing in. Find a little bit of a lift as opposed to a super sink. Right? A little bit of a lift in the hips. Take one more inhale, and then carefully release your hand, release your foot, lift up your hips, and pivot to your right, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, and release your fingers, whatever way feels a little different. Lift your hands up and fold. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, but length through your spine, pressing through all four corners of your feet, especially outer edges, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Open your mouth. One more, you guys, inhale. Bring your hands to your low back. Bring your hands to the floor. Rise back up. Pivot back to your left foot. Make sure you have that uh, hip width apart and feet rise up. Cross them up. Always drop the knee if you need to. Pull your belly in. Prayer the hands. Bend the elbows. Touch the occiput. Curl yourself open. Keep pulling in through the ribs, kind of getting full through this back kidney area. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale. One more, you guys, inhale. Exhale, reach the arms back, lift through the back leg, 
right outer hip drops now and breathe. Really stamp through that leg so you're not just dumping right into this left outer hip. One more inhale. Bring the hands down for standing split on a block or floor. Right outer hip drops down, right inner thigh lifts. Lifting through the left toes, breathing for three. Two. And one, bring the right foot down, either hip width or together. So hip width's a little more stable, together for more power. Inhale, halfway. Fold as you exhale. Rise very tall as you inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, bring that energy right into the heart. Notice what you feel, what you sense. Notice how you've changed already. Maybe it's the temperature of the body. Maybe it's a thought that's no longer there. Maybe it's something in your body that feels different. Just feel. Also notice what feels the same. Out of touchment. And then from here, inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Halfway in. Step the right foot back, and then the left foot back comes with my bones. Stay here, inhale, pull in through your belly. Bring your knees down, bend your elbows straight back for an assisted chaturanga. Shoulders need to be up, belly in, elbows in. If that's not working, you can come all the way flat to the ground. Um, tuck your toes, come either to baby cobra, a fuller cobra, or even almost a straight arm cobra. Thighs are down, shoulders back, fingers pressing, feet pressing. Take a big breath. Curl over your toes, lift up the neck, downward facing dog. Press your thumbs down as you widen your shoulders. Inner thighs, spin up and back, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Take a big inhale and a huge exhale. And then bend the knees, look forward. Step your left foot forward and then your right. Inhale, halfway, fold, rise, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. Go ahead and step your right foot back, then your left. Take a big breath in. Exhale, knees can stay down or up this time, bend your elbows lower. Inhale, slide forward. Up dog slides off the mat, quarter slides down. Exhale, curl back down. Take a big inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Big inhale, lift hips, bend knees, look forward. Exhale. Go ahead and again, step your left foot forward. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, half by open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Hands to heart, exhale. Two more times. Inhale, sweep the arms. So let the flow guide you. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. This time, step your left foot back first, then your right foot to in and Exhale, chaturanga or assisted chaturanga or flat. Inhale, upward facing shoulders back, feet press. Curl over your toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. And always take a child's pose if you need to rest. Breathe in. Sigh it out. Take a big breath in, bend the knees, look forward. This time, right foot forward first, then left. Inhale, halfway. Fold. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. One more, inhale. Fold. Halfway. Left foot back. Right foot back. Stay here in. Exhale, maybe knees down. Cobra, inhale, up dog, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. In, out. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, left foot forward, then right, fold. Halfway, fold. Inhale, hands to heart. Lift up your arms, rest into Vasana. Strong and piercing your body. 
Notice what's there. Notice what's to come, what wants to come through you in this moment. Notice what you're afraid of in respect to change. Just let the information rise, okay? Let it come. I'm gonna open up your eyes and get really focused and keep your, I'm gonna face you for now. You can stay where you are. Left foot down. So I'm going to mirror. So left foot down, right foot up. You'll do what I do. Press your left uh, thigh into your right foot. Draw your tailbone in. Hands can be at the hips. And if this doesn't work for you, you can go anywhere below or above the knee. Just don't press on the knee. And hands can be on the hips. They can be in prayer. They can be out. They can be up. They can be over here. Whatever you want. Whatever feels good for you. Just keep your ribs in. Keep your focus. And just breathe. Hugging into the center of your body. Find a focus. Right. Feel your own steadiness, but at the same time, feel a little bit of movement there. Take a big breath in. Good. And then from here, you're going to crawl. Yes, you're going to cross the right foot all the way over the left. Sweep the arms up to the sky. And then fold forward, stretching through the left IT band, the hamstring. Just fold. Relax your neck. One more. Press to the inner edges of your feet. Okay, now from here, you're going to look up. You're going to start to bend your knee. Right hip, uh, heel comes off the ground. You're going to start to come up, bring your hands to your hips, and then either just let the toes stay or bring them out or tuck them in for eagle. Bring your knees center, and then the right arm comes under the left as the left knee is over. Lift up through your arms, hug your shoulders, and pull your belly in. Breathing for three. And two. And take a big breath in. And then unravel. Right to Tadasana. Try not to fidget. Take a big inhale. Lion's breath. Okay, from here. Switching sides. So left foot into the crease of the right thigh. Right thigh pushes back in, belly in, hands as you wish. Breathe. Remember the foot can come below or above the knee, wherever it works for you. Find your steadiness. Lifting your kneecap. Okay, take a big breath in. Cross the left leg over the right like this, fold forward. Crossing through the inner edges of the feet, breathe. Especially get into the right IT band and hamstring, try not to lock out that right knee. And then slowly roll up, lifting through your left heel, either keeping it there, lifting it up, or tucking it. Left arm comes over, right knees hugging to center, elbows hugging to center, elbows lift for three. Darned awesome, eagle. Two. One more. And then rise up and right way unravel, Tadasana. Feel your steadiness here. Pulling in through your belly, lifting up through your kneecaps. The inhale, the palms come up. To about shoulder height, the exhale, the palms press down. Inhale, the palms rise up. Exhale, they press down. Inhale, they rise up. And exhale, they press down. Okay, so if you're not on the long ways of your mat, Get to the long way of your mat, and you're simply going to extend your feet all the way, nice and wide, not as wide as the mat, but close. Right. The toes are going to turn in to start. The tailbone is going to roll open. Right. And then from here, go ahead and take your, so I'm going to mirror again, so I'll do, you'll do what I do. You're going to take your right foot and turn your right foot forward. Make sure you have an intersection of heel to arch alignment, the right hip lifts, and bending into that right knee. The left hip pulls back into space. Make sure you got your feet and your hips aligned. Shoulders stack over, so try not to lean forward or back. And then extend the arms out, and really just find that focus, right? So 
that I'm trying, my intention with this practice is to embody a, a fierce steadiness today. Like there's not a ton of flow, of, of super vigorous flow. Because I really, my hope for you is to just land right into the moment. To feel the feelings of the moment in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Take a big breath in. And then take it back into Radiant Warrior. Try to lift out of the hips, but keep the knee nice and bent. The left hip pulls back, the belly pulls in. Keep reaching and breathing. Left hand is light. And then bring the forearm right onto the thigh, left hand onto the hip. Push the seat back, the knee open. And take your whole pubic, uh, pelvis and kind of scoop it under, and then lift back up. Take the left arm up and reach it towards me. Plug the shoulder in like you're going to kiss your bicep, reach it overhead. The outside of the arm rolls in. Shoulder plugs, lift through the chest, brush through the outer edge of the left foot. Squeeze your knee open gently and breathe. One more. From here, go ahead and rise back up, straighten the leg, turn the toes all the way in, a little bit more, uh, more than 90. Left toes all the way out, heel to arch alignment, bend into the left knee. The right hip pulls back, the left hip lifts up. So get that steadiness of the pelvis, and then extend your arms out and gaze, and just feel it. Stay with breath. Take another big breath in and out. Take it back, Radiant Warrior. Take an inhale. Left forearm, left thigh, right hand on hip, push your hips back, knee open, scoop your tailbone in, and then rise up with the forearm nice and strongly supportive. Arm reaches towards me, puff your chest, plug your shoulder in, reach your arm overhead, rotate your heart open as your arm rotates in. Left shoulder pulls back, bend the knee deeply, squeeze it open gently. Press through the outer edge of the right foot. I'll stay with it. One more. Okay, rise up, straighten the leg, turn the toes in. Now from here, heels are going to turn open. Scoop the tailbone in, extend the arms out into a cactus. Take a big breath in, and then sit down into goddess squat. Right, try to drop into the bowl of the pelvis, draw the tailbone in, not too much, and then just feel yourself here. And touch the middle finger or the middle finger and thumb together and for shuni mudra the mudra that helps foster patience and acceptance just feel maybe lifting the toes sit a little deeper and do one lion's breath okay rise up sweep the arms turn the toes in reach for your block just hold it in your hand Take your right foot out, lift up your right hip, pull your belly in, reach your arm forward, reach forward, try not to lock the knee, bring the hand down on the block, outside the foot, press through the inner edge of the, the foot here as you lift the arch, and then lift your left arm up. Try to stack the shoulders so you don't want the arm too forward or back, and reach, and just breathe. Try not to lean on the shin, right? so just use a block if you need it, or whatever you have, water bottle will work. One more. Take the block with you, pull your belly and rise up, left toes in, right toes out. Keep lifting through the kneecap, lifting through the hip, pulling in through the belly. Go ahead and reach forward, left hand out, pressing through the mound of the big toe. If you lift the arch, lift the ankle, lift the knee, draw the tailbone in, arm to the sky, breathe. Big breath in, big breath out. 
Pull the belly and leave the block where it is. Rise up. Turn your toes in. And then from here, squeeze your elbows in. Pull your belly in. And then fold forward. Keep your hands on your hips for this one. Really power out through the legs. Your hands can come here if that feels better. Hold for three. Two. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Fold. Rise up. Half by Pivot to the front of your mat and step back. Downward facing dog. Stay here. Go through one vinyasa. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga or assistant chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Notice how your body feels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. Open your mouth. Bring your knees down. Feel free to use your blanket or even roll your mat so that you can have a little substance for your knees. Take your block or something and squeeze it in between your thighs. Tops the feet press. Bring your hands on your hips and squeeze through your thighs. Push the block back with your inner thighs and then draw your tailbone in. Take your hands, you can either do sideways, down, or up if possible. That's going to create the most space, most likely. Try not to push the back forward, right? So keep the back full as you push the block back. Lift through the chest and just curl back a little to start from Shasana. Maybe you open up a little bit more. Keeping the hips over the knees, don't let them slide back. If they slide back, then you got to stay here. Otherwise, at the same time, not one than the other, Keep reaching back, and at the same time, using core control, reach back and grab. Lifting through the chest. You don't want to crank your neck too much. Squeezing through the block, pulling in through your belly. Keep breathing. Right into the heart, lifting through the heart. Then from here, hands to the back, using the core to rise up. Release your block from your thighs, bring it in between your feet. Squeeze the block at the ankles. Thighs weave together and down. Tailbone in. Press the hands on the thighs and breathe. And just feel the effects of that openness. The vulnerability that happens when we're in back bends, when we're opening our throat and our hearts and our solar plexus. And really, the, the chakra centers are really open them. You reveal them, you expose them. So notice how that feels. And we're going to come up one more time. This time keep the block squeezing in between your feet. Squeeze it. Revolve the thighs back. Draw that tailbone in a little bit. And then again, bring your hands to the back, fingers up or down. Roll the shoulders back. Lift through the chest through this little knob here called the manubrium. And then roll back. You can stay here. You can keep going back. Or you can reach back and grab the heels. With control, right? You do that because you have that core control. And then you curl back and you breathe. Squeeze the block with your ankles for three. Two. One more. Pull in through the belly. Bring yourself up. Exhale, sit back down. If this is too much. You can also come cross leg. Rest your hands on your thighs and just breathe. Change begins with each one of us because we are all intimately interwoven into the fabric of all things, into the fabric of universal consciousness, to the fabric of the universe itself. And so to think that we are exempt from that, to think that we are not part of that, is to just do a disservice to the world around us as well as ourselves because we are intricately woven. So as we come into our own worth, as we heal ourselves, as we come into a space of compassion, love, and joy, that has ripple effects. And energy, while subtle, is powerful. So never doubt your effects on the world around you, both close and far away. Take two more breaths.
And then from here, slowly release the block. Extend your legs out in front of you. Reach your mind. Take a block in between your thighs. Press the elbows down, bent. Shoulders back. Feet down. And slowly lift up into bridge pose. You can wiggle your shoulders together a little bit. And keep your hands like this if the shoulders feel tight or sore. Or you can interlace your hands and come to the top so the shoulders more. Root through the feet. You might feel good to lift the toes. Gently squeeze the block. Push it down. Engage the glutes, but don't squeeze the butt too much. And just breathe for 10. Just one more back bend. One more heart opener. Keep the spine long here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Take a big breath in, and then slowly lower back down. And then from here, release your block. I both them. You have to. If not, you can stack something that feels stable. Pillows, thick blankets, a couple books even, that are stable books, hardback books. And then uh, you will lift your hips. And either put just one block. So notice where I'm placing it. I'm not placing it up here. I'm placing it kind of where my tush flesh is. Or you can use two blocks. If you want more height, you want to create more of an inversion effect here. Okay, if this is too much, release it, just do one. And we're going to just come to a supported bridge for some breaths here. Feet are straight and about hip width. Feel your back supported, your head relaxed, your jaw soft, palms up. Just breathe. And so if we know that we are intricately woven to the fabric of universal consciousness of the universe, of Mother Earth, right, then we must ask ourselves, how can we contribute in our own unique and special way? How we, can we contribute to the healing of our planet, to the healing of our own selves? How can we acknowledge our own purpose our own truth, our own beauty, and not shy away from it, and not shy away from the mystery that is unfolding within each one of us. May we have that courage to look into it, to let it guide us. Stay here or take your legs up. You can always bring the block down one. And then just come in to support a shoulder stand, getting this nourishing Revolving the blood, universal blood, all the way up into the heart. Right? The hips are kind of over the heart here. So this creates this inversion effect that calms the nervous system. And just breathe. If you need to bring your feet down sooner, that's fine. Otherwise, five more breaths. One more. Feet down, lift your hips, remove your one block, lower your hips. See how it would feel to bring your feet together and knees apart if it doesn't feel good. You can always opt for coming back to bridge or straightening out the legs. 
And just let the fingertips, just the fingertips, you don't tickle palms, keep your elbows down. Rest on your navel center right around here and your heart center here, right in the center of the chest. So you're not right at the beating heart, is, but right in the center. And on the inhale, breathe in from heart, belly to heart. And on the exhale, from heart to belly. And just keep breathing there. And then see how you feel to straighten out your legs, reaching your arms overhead, flipping your palms. Keeping the core engaged here as you point your toes and your thighs revolve in, ankles revolve in, soften the shoulders, just get that nice stretch through the pelvis, through the hip flexors, take a big breath in, open your mouth, drag the heels back in, lift the hips, release the block. Feel the low back connecting into the ground. The feet go wide and the knees fall in, hands rest on the center like we did in the beginning. And again, just let the of course, we're going to lift it and lower it back down, feeling the low back, the mid back, the upper back, the backs of the shoulders, the backs of the head, and the soles of the feet, even the elbows and upper arms drop down into the earth. And let your hands come out to a T. Draw your knees all the way in. And start with the left. So scoot your hips to the right a little. And then bring the legs to the left. Arm reaches, gaze to the right. And just breathe. Try to keep your right shoulder descended. And just nice deep breaths. And then come back to center. Scoot the hips to the left a little. And bring the knees to the right, in and to the right. Arm opens, gaze left and breathe. And then rock over to the right side. Curl into yourself. And use your hands from here just to really gently lift yourself up. Grab one and two blocks. Face the front of your mat. Bring the feet together and knees apart in Tarasana. And lift your hips back a little. So you're not close. You're very wide here, long here. Lifting through the chest. You're going to fold forward. And take a block or two if you can. And rest and whatever you have to stack. And let your forehead rest. See if the palms can turn up. They can only go down, but see if they can turn up now in the space of embracing the mystery. Opening yourself up to more than what meets the eye. At the same time, bowing into yourself. Getting still, getting quiet, and getting rested. Let your head be heavy. Jaw soft. Tongue on the low palate. Three more breaths. Slowly climb yourself up. And if you want any support for Shavasana, give it to yourself now. So I like to bring my blocks and blankets and my stack. To my knees, and then I'll grab my head glue, and turn it. So you can turn to face the way that you've been practicing. 
And then you can lie down. We're not going to come there quite yet. And you're going to come into a happy infant. Feet up, knees down, head up, down. You can always hold your thighs. You can always drop your knees. Do whatever you need. And just find stillness here. Open your mouth to release it. Soften your shoulders. One more. Draw the knees into the chest. Maybe lift that. And then extend everything out. If you're using blankets, then knees come over. The heels drop down. Once again, lift your body up. Release it. Draw the shoulder blades in. Arms up. If you have an eye pillow or a towel, you can place it over your eyes. And just let yourself release and settle and right into the blanket of support beneath you, inside of you, all around you, and allowing yourself to embrace the mystery, to embrace the change, the natural evolution that is already happening. Shavasana. As you begin to deepen through your breath, and 
remain still in Shavasana. Just feel your breath in your body. Feel your body on the ground. Bring your hands on what feels like center. Tap in. Make any little movements you need before you pull your knees to chest and rock over to the right side, crawling into your chest. Gently rise up, come to sit. Either in Shikasana or Virasana, so you sit cross-legged, just sit here. Bring your hands fully into your heart and belly. Noticing the changes. Noticing how you remain the same. You just continue to open to what seeks to reveal you changing you. Remembering that really all that's happening is that we are going back to our truest, most purest form. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. One ohm. Um. Remembering that in that truest, purest form lies our deepest potential. Together we bow and we say the word that needs to bow, that recognizes the light within you and within me, and our oneness when we come to that space of recognition. Namaste. Thank you. Have a beautiful day and night. If you like this practice and want more, please subscribe to my channel.